the city of Wuhan, China, counting down not to a new year, but to the end of 77 days under lockdown. To mark the occasion, a light show on both sides of the Yangtze River, with images of health workers who helped fight the coronavirus epidemic projected onto the city's skyscrapers. As the clock struck midnight Tuesday, the makeshift barriers that had enclosed the city were removed, allowing outbound movement to resume. Thousands of passengers flocked to airports and train stations, hoping to catch the first transport out of Wuhan after months without having seen their friends and family. The city's 11 million residents are now free to travel, if approved by a government phone app that evaluates their contagion risk. Life is far from back to normal in a city that is certain to remain scarred by the outbreak for a long time to come. Schools remain closed. Residents are still expected to wear masks in public, limit their outings and avoid large gatherings, as dozens of new asymptomatic cases of coronavirus have been detected there in recent days. The official death toll in Wuhan stands at over 2,500. Experts, though, believe the real number is likely far higher. Chinese officials remain vigilant, fearing a second outbreak sparked by asymptomatic cases and infected citizens returning from abroad.